A compass absolutely cannot function on a globe. It is an objective fact of absolute reality. That's why our system for navigating is called polar plane coordination. There is a fixed source in the center. Navigation is not possible whatsoever any other way. This is called a compass. Why is it called a compass? Because it is a complete pass circling a fixed point. This is something you use when navigating to determine your angle of trajectory. It mimics your magnetic compass. This is a magnetic compass. It makes a complete pass is the only objective constant truth in existence. A compass derives all geometric outcomes, any plane curve of trajectory and closed curve from two points. It computes your position angle of symmetric shapes. P-A-S-S, -S, position, angle, sextant, square. A compass does not function when two poles are acting on it at the same time. It is a single pole horizontal plane instrument. Do you see how much pivot is in my needle in the same width of the magnet? Because it's a single pole horizontal plane instrument for making complete passes around a fixed point of its source attraction. A south magnetic pole cannot exist and your compass function properly. It, there is no south pole. There is no south pole star. Objectively, look at this star chart. No south pole star. I'm assuming this is what you mean by the south axial spin or whatever that doesn't fucking exist. That there is a, no objective measure for it whatsoever. Perfectly explained by perspective and how the stars actually travel. So you think this is happening? If you think the earth is what makes the stars revolve, then that would mean you think that the southern hemisphere is spinning a different direction than the northern hemisphere. The polar plane coordinate system exists because of a fixed center point polaris, a sextant, and a compass. Your longitude and latitudes are measured by those instruments. There are 24 hours in a day. There are 24 segments to the polar coordinate system. Weird. What a strange coincidence. Each one of these segments is 15 degrees. The stars revolve around Polaris 15 degrees per hour. 24 15 degree segments equals 360 degrees. That's one circle, which consists of 21,600 minutes and 1,296,000 seconds. Navigation is based on this time created by nature's clock. Nature's clock swings east to west just like a normal clock it turns clockwise that's why we have right hand rule in cartesian coordinates spherical coordination is not possible until you convert the polar plane coordinates from the fixed point in the center every line of longitude is a perfect north south there is no other way to navigate or use a compass leg of the journey from Chile to Australia is southwest by compass. It's the only way that navigation works. That's why there are 24 segments of 15 degrees that are divided up into minutes and seconds determined by your sextant and your compass. There is no other option than this right here. This is to scale. This has function. It does time, navigation, everything. Now, let's get on the plane and see what happens with our compass. 
this is what the globe says the flight path is because they think the shortest distance between two points is a curve but that's no surprise because they think the australians are upside down sailing on curved water and antarctica has a curved horizon of ice plateau so on the pseudo fictitious globe um, they're going down and then back up instead of straight across or whatever. But it's it's southwest, west, northwest. So this is the third leg of the journey from Chile to Sydney, Australia. The man who says that southwest doesn't work on a compass when a compass is the only reason you can navigate in the first place. It's why you have the latitudes on your map. The airplane says we're heading northwest on the third leg of our trip from Chile to Sydney. But the compass is the arbiter of truth for measuring concentric circles inside of a magnetic field orienting you to the fixed source. So they're saying we're way down here going on our third leg. But oh, wait a second. Look at the compass west by southwest. The compass, which is the arbiter of truth, the thing you use to navigate by compass, you are going west by southwest. I trust the compass. I don't trust the airliner because I know a compass functions properly. I know how a compass works. Like, this compass is telling us we're going west by southwest the thing you said is not possible on a compass but here we are chilly to fucking sydney and guess what the compass is doing so let's figure out our location on the plane we have our compass aligned with the north we know that the longitudes are always north south so right here is the heading we want to keep the heading between the diamond and the one beside it we have our north lined up with the longitude and our compass match, that's our position. Keeping it between the two. Now we're going west. We just went northwest on the leg, first leg of our journey. Now we're on the second leg of our journey, going west with a 244 heading. East and west are circles, so you can only go one degree before you're no longer going due east or due west. Airplanes use the artificial true north they don't use actual magnetic north the only objective north there is uh, i'll have to get into this later now the compass match why do the compasses match because there's a fixed pole in the center and that's what's happened see we went the west leg the west leg can only go so far because the rest of the flight is that that is the rest of the flight now let's take the same trip with a south magnetic pole on our compass oh wait never mind it doesn't always point north not every longitude is a perfect north south every longitude is a perfect north south no matter where you are on this map north is up so that means no matter where you are on this map which means no matter where you are on this map which means we know it functions and it has proper scale because this works. And this is based on the stars, which this is based on. It all goes together. It, there's no other way about it. The only constant of true Earth reality is light. The only constant objective fact made by man is the red half needle of a compass.